Step three, hiring employee. Okay, we're going to hire an employee for the marketing manager. It's going to be inside human resource, personnel management, administration, HR master data, personnel action. Okay, now ensure that the personnel number is empty and also we're going to use this from the 1st of June. We're going to choose the option of hiring. Before you enter, I'm currently guessing that there is information that is related to the security department around here. So make sure personnel number is empty, insert this, choose this and then press on enter first. It's supposed to make sure that your screen looks like mine. No. Okay, now what will happen is basically press on execute and then we're going to find the position that is for hiring. That is the marketing manager. Now, go to position, use the search help, search 005 for mine. That is my ID for yours, it's going to be different. Press on enter and then you're going to see marketing. Okay, double click on it. So, we're just going to make sure all the other information are already being inserted. It's going to be in HH00 Hamburg Employee Group 1 and Employee Subgroup DS. Okay, now if those informations are correct, click on Save. Now, you can create the personal data. Hopefully, this part here, you can do as the following information inside the case study. Just be sure that you make it a little bit different. Do not change some of the information such as the last name. It must start with M. Birth date, follow exactly. Nationality, you need to use German. So I'm going to follow this exactly, So, but with a little changes that should be able to differentiate between yours and the other users who uses this system. Now, it's going to be Mr. I'm going to use Mayor, but I'm going to insert something else. Mayor, you. Okay, it's going to be my unique identifier for this particular user. Okay, now, first name, M-A-R-C, Mayor you Mark or Mark Mayor you. Okay, birth date is going to be on the 26.03.1983. So this is the information. Language is English, nationality is German. So those are the information that you must insert and then you may click on save. Currently it's already create generated a personal number for this staff that is going to be 3, 2, 4. Please remember that. Three. Please remember your own personal, num personal number for the staff that you are hiring. For mine, it's going to be 3, 2, 4. Press on save. Okay, record created. Now, currently, we are at organizational assignment in full time. Now, what you need to insert here is basically sub area. Please make sure it's SD. Zero, zero, and also contract choose workers and others compare it with the screen that is provided inside the case study if everything is okay then click on save there will be a message supposedly showing the limit vacancy just choose yes for mine there is none Okay, now we are currently at the address part. So the address part, please insert the same information. So the employee will be live, living in this address. I'm just copy paste from the case study. Postal code 24103 and living in here. Okay, now compare this with the information that is inside. Oh, okay, sorry, this is not correct. 215. 
Okay, ya. Yeah. Bro. Okay, this information available inside the case study. So, make sure this information is insert. Then, click on save. Now, we're moving on to the next info type. That is plan work schedule. Now, this part here, the employee has a full-time job. So, nothing needed to be changed on this area. So, you can just click on save. And we're moving on to the next info type. That is basic pay. Now, in the basic pay, we're going to insert some information. First, is in terms of this part here, the pay scale information. We're going to insert type that is 90 fixed salary. Go down here, there is 90. Double click on it. Okay, that is the type that we need to insert, type 90. Okay, area is going to be 07, Hamburg. And group it's going to be 0, 0, 001 so there is only one group so we can just choose on that 0, 0, 001 0, 001 okay after accepting your entries by clicking on enter after you insert this click on enter and then you will see that he this staff is going to be paid the 3500 euros okay so those are the information that you need to insert for this info type that is basic pay. Now click on save. The next part we're going to insert the bank detail. This one we need to remember back what is the bank key that you inserted. It's supposed to be by default 12030 and then insert your ID at the back. For mine it's 005. Okay, now bank account you need to insert. I'm guessing I'm going to use the same input as the, what is being shown inside the case study. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 digits account number purpose is going to be for salary. Okay. So, those are the information that you have to insert for this info type bank detail. Click on save. And then it will bring you to the next info type that is capital formation. Okay. Now, the capital formation, you need to insert the contract data that is um, you're going to be having to pay 26 for this stuff. And then, in terms of the building stock saving as investment type, this part here. Use the social building social savings. Okay, I'm guessing SOC dot representing social or something else. Okay. And then what you need to do is press on enter. You need to insert the pay data. Okay, now insert the pay data by finding Bandia this part here. The first selection. It must have uh, currently the input asks for this for the case study asks us to use this as the input. Okay, now insert that, press on enter again, it will basically pop populate all the information. Now, what happens now? You can save your entries. Click on save. Okay, record created. Now we are at the fiscal data D info type. So what we need to insert here is basically the identification number. So we're going to follow exactly as what is being shown inside the case study. There is nothing being mentioned here that you're supposed to insert your ID number to change the input. So basically just follow exactly as what is being mentioned inside the case study. So those are the three inputs that I'm basically inserting identification number, municipal, tax office, and also tax class is going to be 1. Now, church tax is going to be 00. zero. And also in the section of further data, that is down here, further data, we're going to choose the church tax area as this one, 08. Compare your input with what is being shown inside the case study 
and then if everything is okay click on save okay now we're moving on to the insurance information in photon now what you need to insert here basically you need to insert the bomber okay i'm going to insert this first it's going to be written down here at the health insurance fund you need to sorry i'm not supposed to copy paste but we need to search for bomber okay there is one bomber here double click and then we have there and then there is no requirements to submit this part here si statement submit no requirements to submit and then you need to insert the Pension insurance number now depends on your input. Hopefully you insert Exactly as what is being mentioned inside the case study It will make your life, your life much more easier because currently this thing will read true based on the birth date the make the gender the First name or the last name of the information that you have inserted now, please be careful on that Hopefully this can work after I insert this now, I try to click on save. The character 10 is PI number not get that compatible with gender female. So currently, this is not female. I'm currently inserting a female pension insurance number. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to insert male. Now, let's try it again. Click on save. Yes, there is no problem. But if you have problem in terms of for inserting the pension insurance number please restart doing step 3 okay so record is being created now on the next info type that is create d-e-u-v-e -E. now what do we need to insert here is basically the current position here okay the current position we need to search for it Hopefully by the position text. Hopefully we can search something that is related to marketing. Okay, now I'm going to try to put it here first. Uh, let's try 005. Nothing. What if, let's see first what are the output that is going to show in terms of here. Okay, now this is the kind of info that is going to be shown. So, we're going to try to search something that is related to this part. Occupational code 2010 text. Okay. Position text. Hopefully this one, we're going to try to look for something that has the word marketing. Enter. And then we have to now choose the one that is exactly the same as the one that is showing inside the case study. Uh not the same for this two so let me try searching for something that is unique okay i need to search for this this one this word you can copy paste from the case study enter so there are a few okay so let us find something that is related to marketing okay if it's still a lot, then we try to find it in a much more specific term. Search back. Now, in terms of here, this is being copy paste from the case study. Press on enter. There's none. Okay. So, let me try to change this thing a bit. Okay, I'm changing the dash. Now, let me enter. Yes, currently found it. Okay. So, position is going to be this one. 92149. Okay. Hopefully, this one is correct. Okay. Now, if you would like, you can go to the next page and it's already insert, show you what are the information that is needed to be inserted. 
0, 0, 4, uh, 0, 0, 0.005 for this part. Education is going to be 4. Vacational training is going to be 3. This one is 1. Contact form is 1. Okay. So those are the information that is supposed to be inserted. Okay. So if you're happy, then click on save. Record created. Now, contract element case study. Now, in the following info type, can stay unchanged. Proceed to the next info type. Now, this one you can only save and then we are at monitoring task. Now, at the create monitoring task info type, there is also no changes. Expiry probation supposed to be already insert. Or already being filled. Now let us have a look on that part. Expiration of probation is already insert. So click on save. Okay, done. We are at the next info type that is absent queue. Also, nothing to change. Click on save. Now we are at the workers' compensation info type. Now there is something that we're supposed to be inserting here. WC, we're going to be inserting 31. Now, what does 31 mean? Uh, there are a few. So, basically, we're not going to be bothering with that. We're going to insert it directly. Follow what is being mentioned inside the case study. C31. HP is going to be 01. Now, press on enter to populate your information. Yes, it's correct. So, finally, Click on save and then you are done. So basically, we already created the employee for the position of marketing manager.